Hello everyone, Jonathan here from Triple M Games, and in this video we're going to be talking about Blender 2.92 Alpha's Asset Browser. We'll open up Blender, and I have a somewhat default scene, but what we're going to do is in the top right here, we're going to move this over, click this little icon here, go over to Asset Browser. And the first thing you're going to notice is it's pretty much blank by default. But if, what we can do is go to Edit, Preferences, go to File Paths, and then scroll down to Asset Libraries. And what we can do is we can add a new path, and then we can call this one Blender Assets. And we'll click the folder icon. I'm going to navigate to my desktop and Blender Assets Library. And click Accept. Then you can go down here, and then you can save preferences. Now there's still going to be nothing in here, but what we can do is we can click over here on our cube. I'm going to right click in the outliner, and right click on the cube, and we go all the way down to ID data, and make asset. Now what we can do is we can right click this and add to quick favorites. Now, if I hold my mouse cursor over here and press the Q key, you can make assets. You'll notice that we have a cube. And you can just drag that in. And as you can see, uh, they're not necessarily linked. Uh, but what you can do is drag that in again. And over in this bottom left panel, you can click linked. Now, if we change something here, you'll notice that it changes the original. Uh, but these that were appended in <laughs> uh, didn't get updated. And another thing we can do is we can click on the cube. We're going to create a material. Change this to cube mat. And go to the outliner again. Click on the material in the object data. Press the Q key. Make asset. And you can find it under shading. And we're going to make another one by duplicating the material on the cube. Change this to blue. Go to the base color. Change it all the way to blue. And then you can hover your mouse cursor over this and press Ctrl and C. Then scroll down to the viewport display at the bottom and paste it in here. And once again, click there. Press Q, make asset. And it might take a bit of time, there we go. Now you can drag that, and it will change the object's material color. So we'll just duplicate a few other objects here. And we will drag it over onto this cube, over onto the cone. And we're going to add a, another material slot onto this selected cube. And I'm just going to select the cube map we had earlier, tab into edit mode, press 3, and select these two faces and assign it here. Now I'm going to also select this cone here. We'll duplicate again, and we will change this to uh, red. And change this color to red. Control C, Control V, and we we'll also want to change the name. Ah, uh, whoops. I grabbed the wrong object. Um, hmm. That was interesting. I pressed Control Z and then it changed the material name. I guess it's because it's linked to this blend file. Change this back to blue. Huh. Control Shift Z, Control Z. Okay. Just uh, undo and redo a few times and you'll get it back to the original, I guess. Select this again. And red. The cone uh, material. Press Q. Make asset. Now we have red. Now what I wanted to show you uh, was that if we have multiple material slots, and I have the second one selected, it won't, it won't matter. It'll change only the first material slot. 
So that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're dragging and dropping assets across. Okay, now that we have our, let's see here, I don't like how it's not showing the little icon there. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be a refresh. Okay. Uh, there was a refresh in the uh, uh, one of the other Blender versions I tried. Oh. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we'll go to File and Save As. I'm going to go to Desktop and Blender Asset Library. And then I'm just going to save this as Default Test. And save. And... We have the Blender Assets. Ah, and there's the Refresh. And it's not showing here. Okay, so what I'm going to try doing is File and then New and General. Open up the Asset Browser. And there they are. The Blender Assets, we have the Cube <laughs> and the Cone. And the shading, we have blue. Good. You also notice that uh, it does duplicate whenever you drag it in again. Now, let's see here. We're going to go to General again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to File and Save As. The Blender Asset Library, I'm going to create this new folder. This one is just going to be Models. Save this as Mesh Test. And uh, one thing that people were struggling with is if you went to File, New, and General, and we'll open up the <laughs> Asset Browser again, you'll notice that nothing has really been added or changed. This is because you have to go back to the Mesh Test, and you're going to have to add this. So Q, Make Asset. And we have our circle. The other thing is, if I were to just go File, New, and General, open up the Asset Browser, and you'll notice that nothing has been added. That's because it really hasn't been added to the Asset Browser. So you have to go over here, Q, Make Asset, then make sure to File, Save or save as. Then we can go to new, general, asset browser, go over here to blender assets, and watch as uh, nothing works. So this is a part of troubleshooting. I'm going to remove default. And another thing that I'm going to try doing is preferences and the asset library. Click the plus, change this to meshes test. And we will add the models folder. And we can refresh, add meshes test, and then we can drag in the meshes test. So once again, we're going to try that to general. I'm just going to remove these, and we'll add in a UV sphere. 
I will just leave that as default and Q, make asset. I haven't saved anything. I'm going to go to open, mesh test, well, no. We'll just go to file, new, and general. Try opening up the asset browser. And you'll notice that we don't have anything new. It really doesn't matter here, so I'm just going to UV sphere, Q, make asset, file, save. We'll just say mesh sphere. File, new, general. Go over to asset browser and mesh test and you'll notice that we have the sphere now. So just make sure that you Q make asset, save the file, and then whenever you open any of the other blend files, you should be able to see them. Of course, if you open, yeah, yeah, as you can see, current file and mesh test and Blender Assets. Um, you can also save objects and collections. So I'm just going to press Control and N and General. And let's see here. I'm going to take the objects and Q, make asset. And we'll go over here to asset browser. And you'll notice that there's no real icon. But whenever I drag this out, uh, this is what we get. It's kind of like linking right now. It's not really appending. And there's no real way that I can change that. So you can't really tab in edit mode, you can't change this. This is exactly what you get. Which I hope later that there's an option that you can append or link. Like like what you could do with the meshes. Because I could drag out the sphere, and you can choose linked. Apparently object is not found, so that's great. <laughs> but if I were to hold Alt and D, those two would obviously be linked. Drag that out. Linked. Hmm. That's uh, because the uh, Sphere 002. We'll try that. There we go. So it just has to be of the same uh, object name whenever you're linking, which makes sense. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, no link is just dragging out uh, extra objects. Um, you can only drag out one object at a time, I think. I'm holding shift and I'm trying to drag out and it's just uh, it's dragging whichever one I have under the mouse cursor. So yeah, you should be able to save animations, scenes, uh, the geometry should be mesh data, I think. So let's take this plane and I'm going to select the mesh data here. Press Q, make asset. Uh, we need to go into your current file, geometry, okay. Well, that was just a uh, shift D to duplicate. Of course, alt D would be a link. That's interesting. Um, I guess you can save images and sounds, environments, miscellaneous. 
just make sure that uh, whenever you create new asset folders, you can have multiple blend files in the same folder, but if you start stacking and creating new folders inside of folders, then Blender can't see it. So you just have to remember to go to Preferences, path, uh, File Paths, and then Asset Libraries, and then add them in. You can also remove them from here as well. And that's pretty much the Asset Browser as it stands. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped, and happy blending!